Chris, you want to you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, what you do, how you got into photography and camera building, and then show us some cameras? Sure. Um, um, I um, manage uh, photography and printmaking facilities for the University of Maryland, Baltimore County campus. Um, and I've been in, um, uh, I've been doing that since, uh, 1981. Uh, so for a little while now, um, and, uh, I, um, I'm really, I, I was really into pinhole photography for a long time, uh, but, um, have just, uh, gotten into so many other things. I've, uh, I've kind of haven't done that. I, I sell pinhole cameras, uh, on a website called pinholeblender.com. And I sell um, uh, blending pinhole cameras that uh, uh, blend uh, three images together without the use of Photoshop. Um, and so I've, I started that in 2002, and um, it was really popular for a while, but I've found that many people have, you know, I don't know, digital has taken away my business. So I, I hardly sell any of those anymore. Um, Occasionally, do I got a school in Washington State um, buying twenty five um, inexpensive cameras, tube cameras, kind of like an oatmeal box. Uh, but um, today, I wanted to show um, uh, some uh, some things that I found from here called Lumen Box from one of your earlier shows. I think um, I think it was from this website or podcast. Uh, it because yeah, we. We we've done some of those uh, uh, lumen box stuff uh, here. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I thought they were fantastic, and uh, and uh, I've been shooting a lot with uh, with that, um, and um, and I'm and I'm trying to convince some of my other colleagues it's a way that students can shoot uh, and process without having to have access to a dark room. So I'm using today as kind of like a a practice session because on the photography professors uh, uh, network uh, or photography professors Facebook page, uh, there, uh, there, uh, some people are interested in this um, and, and uh, Society of Photographic Educators, uh, Photo Fica uh, has a call for people to put uh, ideas for uh, their students there. So I'm going to do that there. And um, I got some, how do I share screen here? Oh, present now? No, what do I want? Yes, present now. And then you can choose the application window or your full screen. Well, let's hope there's nothing bad on my screen. Oh, where is my screen? So my screen showing? Oh, yep. My screen is showing? Yep. Oh, okay. So it's a slide of my, here's uh, places to find me. Um, and uh, uh, my, uh, this is uh, one of my first boxes. Well, this is not my first uh, Lumen box. Uh, I did the Lumen box in a um, Graflex, um, uh, a Super Graflex. But uh, uh, for some of the students, I, I, wanted to show them how easy it was uh, this last uh, spring semester. And so this is my Keen box. It's a uh, size 14 Keen box. Um, and I'm using um, uh, a plus one and a plus two um, uh, close-up filter for the lens uh, in the front of this Keen box. Um, and you can see uh, a little bit of the image uh, after I brought it inside. Um, uh, uh, projected onto the back, uh, burned into the uh, photo paper. So it's a really easy box to uh, uh, to work with, and I find it really helpful for students. So my um, the uh, close-up lenses uh, are actually just uh, plus diopters and kind of like reading glass lenses, and a, a, a plus one diopter focuses at one meter. And a plus two diopter focuses at a half a meter, so it focuses at the reciprocal of the diopter. So uh, three of these together focuses uh, a plus one and a plus two makes a plus three, and that focuses at a third of a meter. I think that's approximately what's 
happening in this uh, size 14 uh, shoebox. Um, uh, but re recently I've been, um, uh, I made some foam core boxes um, uh, with a, a lens from, from Surplus Shed. Uh, a month ago, a couple months ago, they had a um, sale on of a 85 millimeter um, single element uh, Kodak lens that was 36 millimeters diameter, and that's what I use in a um, in a foam core box. And uh, Chris, uh, can I stop you for just a second there? Sure. Uh, for those of you who are interested in doing anything like this, Surplus Shed has more lenses than you ever knew existed. Um, I did uh, for a while. Um, I, I did some lumen boxes and, and uh, sent them out. Uh, I just recently, um, oh, Sunny16, um, Rachel um, posted a picture of a bunch of stuff that she got um, finally sent to her from Graham. One of those is a uh, one of my lumen boxes and it has a lens from Surplus Shed. Uh, I bought 10 of them and I made 10 of those boxes. So uh, it's a great source. Sorry to, sorry to it's, jump in. It, it, is a, it is an amazing source. I have, uh, I have a VIP membership, which costs every, so often they have a sale and it's $6 and they get 10% off and free shipping. And it's amazing. I have so many, so many lenses. I really prefer a a Acromat lenses uh, because they uh, focus a little better, but this cheap lens, uh, they had on sale for a dollar a piece. I bought nine of them so that I could share it with my family and friends. Um, and uh, I load the box. Uh, this is from this is a an image from my um, Keen box, uh, which takes a four inch by ten inch image uh, off my back porch. And this was scanned on my scanner. And I'm trying to uh, share with my students. This is the same shot on my iPhone. And um, and inverted for my students. Um, I I find the quality is really beautiful with specific types of paper. Um, my um, uh, and you can use any paper, any old paper possible uh, that you can find, any fog paper, or anything like that. It doesn't matter because you're just burning the image into the um, into the emulsion, and you're not developing it. Um, you just have to uh, scan it or take a picture of it and invert it. Um, this is uh, a close-up uh, I did with a sliding box camera so I could change the focus. Um, this is, uh, they're working in my front, um, um, on my street, and I inverted it and um, col tried to color correct it, but the um, orange cones turned out blue for some reason. Here's a self-portrait and another one and a picture of my friend. These are all probably five to 10 minute exposures. Uh, so I, I thought I would share, uh, I use an Epson scanner and I always try to place it down a bit uh, so that I'm, so that the uh, preview light isn't fogging it. Uh, but I um, use the Epson software and um, uh, move the points, uh, black and, and white points, so that I'm just capturing the image. And so this is the this is the image as it comes out. This is from Kodak, from outdated Kodak poly contrast paper. Um, and um, I use a, a, a curve, an invert, and a curve, special curve, um, with a curve point set specific spots. Uh, to uh, to correct the colors, uh, just use that. I find it's easy to uh, adjust all the curves that way. And then I've been I I started a pro project last fall. Um, I have these uh, little figurines by a company called Marks. Uh, they have uh, they made in the 1950s and 60s little portraits of presidents um, and the little plastic figurines. And I photographed all these on um, on Lumen. Instead of using um, photo paper for these, I used uh, outdated, very outdated um, commercial film, four by five commercial film. 
So here he is. Um, they stopped making these figurines in the 19, uh, after Nixon's uh, presidency, but somebody else has been making uh, replicas. So this is Obama and this is Trump. Um, and this is uh, Hillary Clinton. They, she's not a president, but she could have been. Uh, mm -hmm. And this process also works as a, with cyanotype. This is a cyanotype in the camera for a long exposure, much, much longer exposure, but you can get an image out of it. And so let me get back to here and stop sharing my screen. Stop presenting. And I, I kind of share with you, this is my, um, am I here yet? This is uh, uh, the, the little cardboard box that I make. Um, and you can easily load these uh, just in room light and then carry them outside to expose. I, um, I have uh, four by five boxes and uh, I just leave the paper inside like this because it's really not going to hurt this old paper. And then inside the bottom is where I put uh, my uh, exposed pieces of paper so I can like carry this in the field with a whole bunch all together. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, uh, you've got some pretty, I mean, it, you don't want to leave the paper out for very long, but just like what he showed, uh, it's not going to damage the paper at all. It won't damage the paper inside and you could, you could move, you could change it outside. If you go to the shade, you could change it outside pretty easily and it won't, it won't hurt it. Um, this is my, this is my box. This is my keen box. I had to stick another little box in the bottom to get the focal length right because it was not quite the correct focal length and then um this is another uh this is another um uh lens from surplus shed they had on a while ago it's a five times um uh it's a five times screw on um um close-up filter. It's actually an Acromat. Uh, they sold for $25 on, uh, which is expensive on surplus shed, uh, that I put onto a, a Graflex board. And what I, what I shot my, ugh, get this over, what I shot my little figurines with, um, there's, I don't know which guy this is, but I shot these with was this, um, it is, a. Uh, this Acromat attached to a, um, an extender uh, so that I could uh, extend this way out uh, on my, I used this at the maximum extension on my Super Graflex and then put my little figurine in front of it to get uh, more than one-to-one -one reproduction onto the, onto the film. So this is basically what I've been doing. Um, it's very primitive, I think. Um, not as sophisticated as making things out of, a uh, out of, um, 3d printers, but, uh, uh, I found them really quite interesting. There's a, you know, with these on my, this is, a, um, a five times, uh, uh, a five power lens. So that should be about, uh, 200. They say it's a one, one, uh, 87. I don't know how they figure it out. But they came with uh, lens caps that I drilled, so this can attach on to make it an F16 and gets really sharp. Like this, it's a kind of a funky. It, it has nice and nice uh, swirly edges to it, um, and there's a pin cushiony type of uh, feel to it, um, uh, where it goes uh, out of focus at the edges. But a distance object could be in focus, and if things are at the correct distance uh, on the edge of the object, they will also be in focus. There's some sort of, um, there's some sort of, I can't remember what that terminology is. Uh, there's some sort of a, a problem with a lens like that. But it's cool. But for really cheap, I really like these things. So uh, pretty much that's it. I have all these little guys that I've, set up and arranged for my photography uh, <laughs> some more of these so i can start melting them so uh, i can figure out more things to do so those are all at my um my instagram feed uh pinhole blender uh, 
is the Instagram feed and and new stuff I'm doing um, is at another Instagram. My uh, name Chris dot uh, is a uh, is another Instagram feed and it has um, it has uh, stuff that I'm doing with uh, um, with glass plate uh, um, gelatin film that I'm making and also glass plate dry collodion that I'm doing. So pretty much what I do. Any questions? Very cool. Very cool. Also, um, uh, Chris was on the Lensless podcast, uh, show number 87. And those of you who are listening on, uh, it'll be in the show notes. Uh, a link to that will be in the show notes, I should say. All right. Um, yeah, it's a great reminder that you don't have to bend over backwards and be Lucas Landers to have, uh, to make some really fun cameras. <laughs> yeah. yeah but I love everybody else's fun cameras. I mean, it's great to see. I mean, I had to come in a little late today because I was just, I was bidding on some um, uh, eBay. I got one some eBay uh, things. I bought a, um, I bought an, a, a, another 8x10, uh, a, a Seneca 8x10, improved Seneca 8x10. And I bought six uh, 8x10, um, glass plate backs uh, so those were ending those were ending right before i got a fantastic deal on the backs so excellent they they, they ended right as you were starting so I, I was a little late i missed a little bit of the beginning so that's a pro tip Sounds like you want to go online to purchase things during one of these meets to cut the competition down. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. the program is on ebay was, right now uh <laughs> i think this is only bidding things up. Um, 